Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 4, Tarnum must discover what had caused all of the good dragons to flee Avli, and then confront the Dragon Queen of Nyon. Alrighty folks, welcome back to Heroes Chronicles Clash of the Dragons. We are on the penultimate mission, Dragons of Deepest Blue. Tarnum strikes back at Mutari's forces to take back lost Avli land. He must defeat all towns without dying. All heroes will be limited to level 34, but Tarnum and his two best captains will transfer to the next scenario. I'm gonna roll with 4,000 gold, let's do this. Finally, Tarnum had the power to take the offensive. But as he tried to take back the land Avli lost, he met the massive Azure Dragons. Even the good dragons fear these ancient creatures. Finally, it's time to go on the offensive. The Elf King has lost much territory to the Dragon Queen and her seemingly invincible forces. Before it becomes too late, we must strike back and show her that we're not going to crumble so easily. So, I'm taking those forces already under my command and attacking here by the sea where Mutari has already built four dungeons in order to control the elves who live here. Meanwhile, the Elf King will continue fighting the Dragon Queen at the front lines, hoping to hold her off long enough for me to slip behind enemy lines and attack Mutari herself. All depends on my victory here. Alright, so starting with 4,000 gold means we can actually... Uh... Start by building a town hall, which is good. Kind of uh, boost our economy a little bit early on. We can definitely take these fights. We just want to split the sharpshooters up a bit. Good old chain lightning. That is our, that is our heavy split, though. But then we've also got Resurrect, so I'm not too concerned. Never mind, our attack and defense is ridiculously busted, so we're not going to lose anything anyway. Nice. I mean, we're kind of at the point having almost 40 attack and defense that actually these fights are going to be pretty straightforward. Black dragons are probably the only thing we can't really fight right now. Um, just because they're immune to spells. So even Jennifer's got um, chain lightning, so uh, not concerned with this fight either. We don't have Resurrect on uh, Valita though, the only downside. Uh, I guess Mute or Shout is probably the uh, most cost effective way of get taking them out. So luckily we get to build quite a nice little force here, um, with all the neutral camps. I have also received word from the Elf King that another type of dragon has joined Mutari, the mighty Azure Dragon. Now she truly has an army of dragons ready to flatten any army that stands before her. But I have noticed that in her haste to conquer the world, she has spread her troops too thin. She battles the Elf King in Avli and the Knights of Arathia, and yet she still attacks me here. Perhaps this mistake will be her downfall. Yeah, that is pretty stretched. Plus I'm a 40-40 hero, not far off, so <laughs> good luck. Okay, again, again, we could just use uh, Chain Lightning to pretty much flatten this army. Oh wow, that did not go how I expected it to. Mistakes were made. Hmm. 
Ooh, angels. Nice. We'll definitely pick that up ASAP, Rocky. Several Azure Dragons. Five to nine. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. So Azure Dragons, um, even though Tarnum is an absolute beast, Azure Dragons have standard 50 attack and defense, which is just ridiculous. I mean, it's actually busted. Ooh, that is a lot of Scorpicals. Wow, they did no kills. Unbelievable. Man, having this much attack and defense really is kind of insane. It just makes fights go completely differently to how you'd expect them to. I can't believe six Scorpicals killed zero Pegasi. Pegasi are weak units <laughs> in terms of health pool. And they couldn't even kill one. Wow, 10 to 19. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, that's going to put a longer clock on this mission. You've got implosions, so I'm not concerned here. But yeah, that does put a bit of a sort of... You kind of want to kill the enemy ASAP Rocky before they get too strong, especially as they've got four dungeons. But in the same token, we also can't rush through a garrison with 19 or 10 to 19 Rust Dragons. I know we've got the use of spells, but oof, that's not going to happen. Oh, so there's two Griffin Conservatories. Okay, so we can get a decent number of uh, angels from this. Nice. You capture a young leprechaun who not only tells you the location of another wealthy leprechaun, but that some fairy dragons are trapped in their grove by some azure dragons. Uh, yeah, but... Fighting a bunch of... azure dragons to get... A few fairy dragons. That's not really worth, <laughs> in my opinion. It seems like a bad trade. As your dragons will genuinely smash my army. Not that I have one right now. It's more of a ragtag group of ruffians. Ooh, that's a decent number of angels, though, we can get from this. Three. Okay, I don't think he can get to me. No, not quite. We will move up to the top left, though. Make it easier for us to defend. Damn. Turns out, piece of cake. No, three angels, that's good. That's really good RNG. We like that. Okay, there's another one down here that we can do. Okay, with a, with a couple of angels at our side, actually, this, this is definitely uh, a lot more achievable to take down that garrison. Also to note, their garrison is actually owned by Red, so they can attack me at any point. Oh no, it's not. It's neutral. Okay, so they're trapped. Interesting. Okay. Oh, another three angels. So we're going to get six angels off the back of this. This is incredible. That's a good, good amount of RNG we got there. Now, six angels actually... With Resurrect and Implosion and all that good stuff, we actually have a very good chance of uh, potentially ploughing through um, 
through the garrison. Oh, and we got the um, hill fort as well down there. Okay. Between all of that, that is really good. And we got some more gold mines. Okay, this is looking pretty good. It's actually quite a uh, quite a nice map, actually. So I presume there'll be a garrison at the bottom as well. Probably with exactly the same troops. This morning, like every morning, I visit the healer's tent to check on Aspen. As I step inside, I'm surprised to see the old elf's pale complexion. I would have thought he would have died in his sleep, except at the moment Aspen's eyes fluttered open. You look better, I said. And you're a bad liar, Aspen said. I sat down. This was the first chance we had to talk since his injury. Use me as a pawn, Aspen said. No. I'm not upset. In fact, I'm impressed. You let me believe Velita was the spy when you knew it was someone else. Who was it? Kerbin, the master of supplies, I said. The words sounded odd. I still couldn't believe it. Aspen shook his head as if he realised he should have known it all along. The letter I found, the, the one addressed to the spy, it was written by you, wasn't it? Aspen said. I nodded shamefully. I, who had once been a proud barbarian, had mastered the skills of a spy. But Aspen laughed, even though it appeared to cause him pain. I don't think I will play chess with you anymore, Tarnum. It would do my reputation too much damage if I were to lose, the elf said. I placed a hand on Aspen's shoulder and said, I don't think that I will ever beat you, friend. <laughs> Again, you lie poorly. You never liked me, Aspen said. Don't deny it. It doesn't upset me. No one ever likes me, but that's all right. At least they respect me. Yes, I said. I do want you to know that I liked you. You're a good man, Tarnum. Later that day, Aspen somehow dragged himself from his tent. He stood alone and watched as the sun slowly dropped below the treetops, and then he collapsed, dead. Oh, shit. Damn. I wasn't expecting Aspen to actually die, that's... It's a blow. Wow, 50 to 99 Minotaur Kings, jeez. Okay, we definitely need Tarlan for that fight. <laughs> Chain Lightning can only go so far, I'm afraid. Right, this should be an easy fight, and then we can upgrade to Archangels eventually, once I've actually got some money. Man, 3 killed 10? That's insane. <laughs> it's so crazy. Wow. It just doesn't feel right when they, they kill so few. It's like, hmm, I feel like they should be doing a hell of a lot more damage than they actually are. Well, geez. So incidentally, we've already got enough um, gems to upgrade the angels to archangels. It's just I need 12 grand. So we need to take control of that um, gold mine ASAP Rocky. Tarnum's the guy for the job. Oh, we can get a ballista as well. That'd be huge. Head towards City Hall here. Wow. <laughs> Without spells. Jesus. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, okay piece of piss in it really let's be honest <laughs> oh my god oh wow it's just kind of nuts we need magic guild level one grab that Alright, getting five five G's a day. I 
think we can upgrade the angels and then we'll take that garrison. I felt my heart quicken when I realised the riders approaching camp were from Valita's unit. She rode at the front and although she had been in the wild for two weeks she looked beautiful. Human armies usually frown on relationships between their soldiers. Elves are different. They celebrate their emotions freely, even under the dark cloud of war. So the moment Valita dismounted, she jumped into my arms. I missed you, she said. I had missed her as well, but I couldn't bring myself to say it. I wanted to tell her so many things, but they wouldn't pass through my lips. Instead, I told her that we buried Aspen several days ago. Valita frowned and lowered her head. I'm sorry, she said. I couldn't find Kerbin. I tracked him through those tunnels as far as I could, but they passed into Nyon territory and they were too many patrols for me to continue. There's no denying it now, Mitari is Kerbin's master. I found it easier to harden my heart to Valita's presence when I thought of the dwarven spy, Kerbin. I have sworn upon Aspen's grave that I will kill Kerbin. For what he did to Aspen, and for what he tried to do to you, I said. Valita looked at me for a long time. And then she hugged me again. So it's good that we've got that continuation of the love story, but feels like Tarnum's kind of turning away from it now. I guess it's that challenge of immortality, right? Like he can't really truly be with anyone. So he pushes them away, I suppose. I feel like that's not going to end well. <laughs> the way that's like worded, it's like, mm, yeah. That's just going to result in conflict one way or the other. And I don't mean like a fight, I just mean it's probably going to end up in someone walking away. <laughs> probably Valita. So I didn't want to upgrade the um, monks because I can get more this week. And if I upgraded them, I wouldn't be able to um, merge the army, essentially. Or merge them with my army. We'll upgrade them at a later date. Alright, I think we've got an army that's actually big enough to take on the garrison now. Grab the monks. Let's do this. Wow. Wow. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How? How? 90 damage for 6 rust dragons, what is going on, Jesus this attack and defence is absurd, there is no way, wow. That's kind of insane. No, no, not not kind of insane. It's actually ridiculous. How little we lost versus ten rust dragons. What? Jesus. Attack and defense is just king in this game. Today, a pair of red dragons ambushed one of my supply wagons. They destroyed everything, including the supplies. When Aspen was around, he used to warn me of these attacks before they happened giving me the opportunity to redirect my supply lines and set traps for the enemy. As much as he annoyed me, he is sadly missed. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, that almost killed one of my archangels. Jeez.
I find it really odd that they always target the Centaur Captains. <laughs> They're literally like the best unit for me for them to attack. Okay, well, I think this might be um, over very quickly, actually, this mission. <laughs> Potentially, anyway. Or at least we'll be able to kill Red pretty quickly, as your dragons are a different different type of uh, beast to deal with, but... but... Yeah, Red is about to get um, put down, I think, pretty quickly. I guess my only question is, are these two areas linked? Or do I have to still go through the top... Um, the top garrison? What's this? Sort of hellfire, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So, right, so they are technically connected, but through an anti magic garrison with five to nine azure dragons. Yikes. Um, oh, that's a hard fight. Wow, he's got Azure Dragons and Crystal Dragons. Okay. I think we can take that fight. We're going to lose a lot and we can't resurrect. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Yikes. Yeah, we're going to lose a hell of a lot. I mean, we will win, but at what cost is the, uh, is the question. Oh, uh, I mean, in the plus side, at least. Mm, actually, maybe I don't want to use the Archangel. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Damn, these things are nasty. Thousand health as well. As I said, a completely different, um, different type of animal to uh, to the other units in this game. Wow! Ooh, this guy's actually tough. Well, okay then. Oh, <laughs> shit! Okay, three hundred and forty-five damage. So I was doing wow. So seventeen defense. Halves my damage. Ooh, interesting. God damn, what a difference that attack and defense makes. Okay, well, I'll have to deal with um, the Archangels eventually, so. Hmm, I don't know what to do here. Oh. <laughs> God damn. Wow. I mean, it's, it's kind of like things are kind of not going my way at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll win. <laughs> I have no issue with that, but... Oof. Things have gone a little bit more south than I would have liked, that's for sure. Okay, we can res the goldies. That's not a problem. Oh, shit. Okay, that changes a lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that does change a lot, actually. I do have more spell points though, so eventually, through the War of Attrition, we will win. Oh, I think maybe... Oh, can we blind? 
take out the blister, then we can resurrect the army and then implode the beholder. That's my plan. Five? Do I only have five to be in the I must have done them. Damn. Okay, just the goldies to rest now. Oh, oh yeah, immune to level fours. Okay. Well, I'll take... Ooh, ooh Armageddon's Blade. Are you freaking real? <laughs> what the hell? Also, he had Armageddon's Blade and didn't use it. What? <laughs> what? Oh my Christ. Okay, well, that's a chain game changer. Armageddon's Blade, boys. <laughs> of all the artifacts I was expecting to get, that was definitely, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, give me a, a hundred guesses and I wouldn't have guessed that guy had Armageddon's Blade. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, I guess this game's over. 2,000 damage. <laughs> oh, this game's broken. <sighs> a report came in today of another dragon attack. This time a few Azure Dragons raised a small elven village. Many died. Mitari doesn't seem satisfied with simply defeating Avli. She's making the elves suffer. Somehow I have to stop this destruction. Okay, so we just need to figure out where the enemy bases are. What is that protecting? Yeah, definitely get our uh, ballista back. That was putting in work earlier. Shame they didn't join. Okay, there's the purple, so we need a blue, green, and red to get purple. Right, okay. It is probably worth noting that um, actually defeating the enemies isn't actually the objective of this mission. I believe it's to... Similar to... Wow, okay. We're definitely not taking that fight. Um, similar to um, the Dragons of Gossamer, um, we need to collect several Azure Dragons, I believe. Okay, well there's green. An elven scout bursts from the bushes. He appears dirty and tired. Sir, he calls, I've been trapped here in these trees for several days, unable to go anywhere for fear of my life. What are you so afraid of? you ask. Dragons, there's been a lot of dragon activity around here lately. Great care should be taken in this area. Well, okay then. Your scout wasn't kidding. Countless birds explode from the treetops, fleeing frantically into the clouds. Soon after, a pack of dragons soar into the sky and prepare to attack. You spot rust and black dragons, all led by a single great azure dragon. Oh goody. What could possibly go wrong? Oof. Jesus, okay that didn't go as planned. I just realised I've got Armageddon's Blade, why don't I not use Armageddon? What a fool. Fool of a took. <laughs> it's such an odd artifact, I'm just not expecting to have that artifact. Wow, that killed two? <laughs> what? Jesus. Yes, Implosion's probably better at the moment. Since uh, Black Dragons are immune to magic anyway. 13 damage. Woof. Easy, bruv. Still not the easiest of fights. Should probably build up our forces, really, to be honest. I've kind of been a little bit... Um, Remissant on that front, just because I had such a good army, I just thought, well, just <laughs> power through and defeat red. But I do need to think about the long game and taking out as your dragons at the end as well. So should probably prep for that. Ooh, okay. Well, there's red. Good to know. 
Oh, Jelity's back, but he's got nothing. I think it was very much the Armageddon's Blade that was doing a lot of the heavy lifting for him. I'm wondering whether he had Armageddon's Blade even equipped, whether he had the other artifacts equipped. Two more attacks on elven villages and farms have angered the men under my command. and doesn't seem to be anything we can do to stop them. Then Velita approached me tonight with a plan. These attacks seem to have been the actions of only a few groups of dragons. With some gold dragons and sharpshooters of my own, I could hunt them down and put an end to their destruction, she said. I shook my head, stating that I didn't want to split my forces at this time. I can't go off chasing every skirmish group, I said. Mutari will take advantage of that in a second and attack. Man, Tarno can be very cold when he wants to be. <laughs> What's over here? Okay. Insane trade. God damn. <laughs> Man, the magic resistance on crystal dragons is actually nuts. I really wish I knew what it actually was in terms of percentage. Take that. Probably as good as that was going to go. Quite, oh, I've got a lot of money. Loads well. Need to get me some sharpshooters, for sure. I thought I was alone this morning as I went through my daily sword drills. Then I heard something whistle by my ear. I dropped to a fighting stance before I spotted an arrow in a nearby tree. I reached up and removed the arrow from the trunk, turned back to the woods. Felita, I called. The fletching was green and black. The elven woman came out of the shadows, never making a sound as she approached. Did that get your attention? She said. Of course, I answered. Good. Now tell me what's wrong with you. You ignore me most of the time, otherwise you coddle me like some child. Your signals are mixed, Tarnum. Do you want me around, or don't you? Anger made Valita's long cheeks blush, more beautiful than ever. Both, I admitted. Tarnum, she said, her voice becoming softer. I think I could love you, but I feel sometimes that you don't feel the same about me. If so, let me know and I'll walk away. Valita. But if there is a chance you could love me too, she interrupted. There is nothing you can do to get rid of me. I just want a chance, Tarnum. Give us a chance to get to know each other. That's all I ask. I lowered my head because I would rather cut off my own hand than speak the words I was about to say. My life, Velita, is not my own. It hasn't been for a very long time. I don't understand, she said. When I didn't explain, she turned quickly and fled without bothering to cover her tears. Tarnum, Tarnum, Tarnum. Oh, you're so cold, bro. Uh, I kind of get it, but it's... After all that work, <laughs> all that effort, just to turn cold shoulder. Hmm, I don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. It's a choice, I suppose. It's certainly a choice. So what do I need for that? Gems, naturally. Let's go to Rainhaven, grab the troops. I'm wondering whether we go through the uh, the top garrison. 
So it looks like the the whole map's been sectioned off three times. Mm, that's a pretty good trade, but you may still be able to do better. There's an argument to be said, what's the point, but... <clears throat> That's actually a pretty big, big army. Okay, so the fact that they have the purple thing... Oh, he's on a sanctuary. How annoying. Well. I have a horrible feeling that every time I go away, they're going to try and attack me. <laughs> Jesus. They are uh, they're throwing everything. Okay, Jealousy's back, but I think he's half the man he used to be without all of his artifacts. I don't think we need to lose an Archangel. Take down the red dragon. God damn, I keep forgetting we've got Armageddon's Blade. <laughs> such an idiot. Oh, it's such an uncommon item. I just never, I don't even think that I've got it, even when I do. <laughs> oh dear. Mistakes were made. Let him get away as well. Could have ended that fight in an instant if I'd uh, remembered. But who has Armageddon's Blade? <laughs> it's such a random artifact to pick up. Yeah, that uh, makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of Rust Dragons though. Ooh, anti-magic. Wow, there's a spell I didn't expect. I like how my one red dragon does more damage than two rust dragons. <laughs> what? Crazy. I need to get a throwaway hero just so I can deal with these guys. Really. Well, at least he's gone for good. Well, I say gone for good. Gone until they recruit him again. Right, so if we can find where their base is, take it out and then... TP back. I expect the key master tent I need will be there as well. And then we can, uh, we can finish off red and close out this mission. Let's deal with these guys. Okay, probably need to deal with him. Show him a damned for him. Sure. I don't think that was a good trade, actually. I think mistakes might have been made there. One of the things for certain, though, I don't... Th mm, might be able to. I doubt he'll be able to take my base. Oh, he's not even going to bother. Okay, well, that's good. Last night, I prayed to the ancestors. I begged them to release me. Haven't I suffered enough? I shouted. I understand now. I know what I did was wrong. But how can I make up for it? I can't go back and undo what I did. At least give me the power to correct my mistakes before this hurts too much. They didn't answer. Or perhaps their silence was their answer. Oof. Okay. Well. 
Armageddon is uh, pretty good, I hear. Easy. Man, how many boots of speed have we picked up this mission? <laughs> Alright, let's deal with these guys. Okay, they've got nothing left in the tank now. I think they're pretty much done for. Let's grab you to grab the blue Keymaster's tent. Oh, there's someone else. Okay, let's deal with Geon, then deal with Sephiroth. Really? I think not. Alright, well they got nothing, so... Easy to deal with. Okay, we'll position ourselves here so that we can... How annoying. <laughs> I mean, I want to ignore him, but I also don't. <laughs> I just want to take them all out and stop running off. Dragon attacks on Avli villages got to be too much for Valita and some of the other elves. Sometime after we camped last night, she and the others left. She's hunting the dragons, I'm sure of it, but I can't bring myself to go after her. It's just better this way. Maybe the time apart will cool my emotions. Maybe if I can defeat Mutari quickly, I can move on. Valita will find someone that makes her happy someday. Someone who can stay by her side. And maybe someday I can forget. So cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> Alright, this should be the end of red. Oh, we got boat. Where the hell did he get a boat from? And also, why? <laughs> The monolith two-way there, and the black border guard. So that's probably where I need to go to close out this mission, I suspect. Where the hell's the black border guard, though? Let's check up here. I think it's pretty much one of the only areas I haven't searched. Unless it's down there. It's also the only other area outside of the water that I haven't actually checked. Well, oh, don't mind if I diddly do. Okay, well it's definitely not there. I can just TP to base, take that guy down, and that should be the end of red. Wonderful. Oh, congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated, and victory is yours.